What I think the answer is, Very is between us to, to make it very clear to them that we're not going to put up with this, okay? Mm -hmm. All right? I would so like to thank you all for I coming. I you're saying. Every lunchtime. You've got a right for that not to happen. The course will last six weeks and through a number of activities encourage decision making, communication and the development of listening skills. It's all about improving the quality of life these children enjoy at school. We're not social workers. On the other hand, hopefully we are there to fulfil the potential of the whole person. Before it's decided what action to take over Mark's outburst, the head wants to be seen to be fair. He decides to interview other pupils in the class about exactly what happened. What time are you bring them down then? He got up and he, go, he said, "Oh, this is a this is a naff lesson." He used the word naff. You well, weren't going to say, say you weren't going to say that at first. You were going to use another word, but your lips changed. Well, well, yeah, well, he, he swore, I think, but he swore under his breath. I think Mr. Ashford. There's no such thing as swearing under your breath. You either swear or you don't swear. <laughs> when he swore, he said, "I think he said, can I say it?" Yes. He said, oh, you, you can piss off, but he said it, not at him. I don't care. There's no way a teacher's going to push me round for as long as I'm at school. There's no way a teacher's going to push me around. Was Mark making more noise or comments than anyone else? Yes, I think he was, yeah. So, not that it's your decision, but in your opinion, was it reasonable that he should be sent outside? Yes, I think it was reasonable he should be sent outside, right. yeah. Why do you think he's like he is? I think Mark has to be the number one. He, he doesn't really like discipline, but as I said to him, we have discipline all our lives. When you're grown up, when you're out working, you have to accept a certain amount of discipline. Yeah, but you're getting it's self -discipline. paid for that, you know. It's self-discipline. But look at school, you're there, like, 13, 14 years. But you I... just get fed up with it in the end. But I have on some other ones, he actually called him a name. A puff. Oh, I didn't hear him say that. Okay, seriously. Right, no, so, mm. I'm not suggesting you did, I'm just asking. I mean, if I can control him from home, surely they can control him to an extent in school. I mean, that's what they're there for. That's what they're paid to do. Don't the people sometimes think of telling them to shut up? Well, the thing is, Mark is like, bigger than us, and like, if you tell him to shut is up... Is Mark bigger than you? Only marginally bigger than you. Yeah, I know, but... Well, if you, I know, if you, like, tell him to shut up, like... you will thump you? Mm. So you're scared of him? That's sort not an of. insult, I'm asking a straight sort question. Of. Yes, sir. Okay. John's mother has been called in about his behaviour. His behaviour in class and also sort of his behaviour with other with other pupils mm. as well. And especially the behaviour with the other pupils we're very, very worried about. Um, last term we tried absolutely everything. Um, taking his shoe, uh, good trainers mm. off him, buying him cheap ones, mm. what he hated, absolutely mm. hated. Um, and that seemed to improve for a while. Of course then I was called back in by Mr Barker. Mm. And I don't know what to do. Why do you think that he is sort of intimidating? I mean, it is intimidating or bullying other children. Does he sort of ever talk about that at home? No. I don't think it's he sees him. it. No, he never sees it that way. It's never he? him. He's always doing it for someone else. Mm. Or someone else has upset his friend, so he's just had a word. Mm. But he didn't mean it and he wouldn't do it, what he said. If he does let himself down like that, and if he is you know, bullying, that the school can't, can't take, t take that anymore. Um, I don't really want John to mm. leave this school. I like mm. this school. Um, but if John is a bully, then he'll be a bully anywhere, mm. really. I mean, last term he was awful at home as well. And when I spoke to Mr Rumble and Mr Barker, mm. I said, well, I'm his mum and mm. I could kill him. I mean, mm. I said, so I'm, I can imagine how teachers feel when he's standing there being stroppy. Mm. He's been warned and he's, he's served the punishment and so on. Um, it, is up, it is up to John now, really. And you, it's very nice to meet you, and you, you do seem very supportive. It's good to have that, that backing. If you find decision-making normally hard, I do sometimes. But the Social Skills do? Group is into its third session. For Matthew, the progress has been slow, but noticeable. <laughs> well, well, Matthew's had one. Did you not, do you not want a tree? Oh, Well, you might have a bit of your one. Yes. But you can't, you won't, you'll be... 
you have to agree with, with whatever other people decide. Do you set that, Matthew? Yeah? With good heart. <laughs> yeah. But for Bina, there's been a transformation. And you've got to be really strong because you really want this pen back. A few weeks ago, Bina would not say one word. Bina, would you like to make a suggestion of what you would like?